Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will see how to assemble all the different components of a screw jack. That is all the parts and we will do the drafting of that in SOLIDWORKS. And in the previous videos, we have seen how to do all the parts in SOLIDWORKS. Go to File, New, Assembly and then we will click on OK. I have already created all the parts and it is asking for the parts to open. First, I am going to open only the body. Later, I am going to add multiple parts in this and we will add the geometry constraints. And now we will just place it over here. And then right click on this body and enable and then click on this float. If you click on float, you will be having, you can move this body anywhere you want. So and now we will make sure that the in the assembly also there are different planes and for the body also there are different planes so it sometimes what happens is that you are created in a different plane while making the parts and here it shows the different that is the orientation sometimes will be different so in order to make all the planes go inside that is main main is the body so the plane of the body and the plane assembly plane should be coinciding so now when I enabled float you can just move this part and the along with the part the part planes also there is body front plane top plane right plane also can move so go to mate over here and now here just will clear this and and in this tree if you cannot see just expand this go to front and I'll expand this body also and this one also friend. I'll make sure that both are coinciding. SOLIDWORKS is smart enough to know which constraints has to be applied. But sometimes it does make mistakes and you can override those constraints. If you want parallel, you can just add the parallel. Or if you want to lock it, you can lock. Or if you want the angle, you can just do. Or if you want to flip the direction, you can do. Now, most of the time it shows the proper constraint and then we'll click on OK and top lane of the assembly and top lane of the body now it is showing it's coincident and then we click on ok and the right lane of the body and right lane of the assembly and here also you can tick and then we'll close the mate and now you see you cannot move or you can apply another fixed constraint also but there is no use you can leave it now also the body does not move since the assembly front top and right planes are fixed it does not move and now we will go to insert components and now we will bring all the materials that is all the parts which we have made and we will click on open and one by one the part will be shown and you can place it anywhere on the screen And now we'll go to mate option and apply one by one the constraints. First, I'm going to apply this concentric constraint. I'm going to choose this cylindrical part and this cylinder part. It is smart enough. See, it shows it is concentric and then click on apply. And now we'll select this face and this face. And it shows coincident. Okay. And now We'll add this screw spindle and uh, this axis and this axis are same, so it was concentric. And then we'll click on OK. And before exiting from the mates itself, you can move this up. Afterwards, you cannot move. If you close this and if you try to move, it does not move. And there, you have to use the option move the component to move this. So now itself we will go to move and I will apply another constraint and we will go to the top view and see the Tommy bar has to be on the right or left any side it is fine you can just rotate in the drafting and 
here it rotates so i don't want it to rotate or move up and down you can use the mechanical mates in order to apply the screw made also you can just play around with it but right now we are not focused on the simulation part or the mechanical aspects so we'll just go to standard and now i'll since they are not which i should not be able to move this so and then it is not a compulsion that i should have the go to mate and now i am going to specify this i am going to specify the distance and from this and here it should not be selected a flat surface should be selected from this and this and now i will specify the distance say suppose 50 mm and 50 mm is not enough so i will just go for 90 mm you can go for 100 mm yeah and that is enough and now we'll make sure this hole is exactly either vertical or horizontal in when we go to the top view for that one we just choose the front plane or the right plane of the assembly and we'll expand the screw spindle it is easy to check the planes of all the parts if you are given the name properly so while saving the part files give the proper name so that we can identify it properly and I'm going to choose the right plane since it coincides properly with the right plane and I'll get this on the horizontally when I go to the top view and then now we'll add this cup and I'm going to choose this and the cylindrical part cosmetic is automatically being applied and here I'm able to see this so I'll just remove it up and now I'll add one more constraint this and this I'm going to make sure it is coincident automatically it knows and here also this corner this water we have made this cutting it should be either vertical or horizontal in the top view now you can see actually it rotates see you can see it, it rotates i don't want it to rotate so i'm going to choose the front or the right plane of the body you can choose anything and it should be appropriate that's it and i'm not going to choose i choose the wrong plane and i'll just go to the cup over here and i'll just choose the proper plane yeah. and then right click and now we'll see we'll apply the washer i'll choose this cylindrical face and this cylindrical face and coincide remember you are not able to see since it is inside so for that one what we'll do is we'll hide the body so whatever the things which you want to hide you can hide but i don't want the cup cup is not a problem for us and right click and here you are having the option to hide components now you can see now we we'll remove it up and now we'll just show these components again by clicking on this eye symbol and now we'll go back to the mate and now we'll apply the mate for this surface and for this it is coincident okay and we are left with two more things i'm going to choose this cylindrical edge and this cylindrical edge it will know properly and i am going to Choose this flat end and this flat end of the washer. And remember, this slot has to be in one direction. And for that one, you can choose the planes from the assembly and for the CSK screw. Yeah, and you can choose the proper plane. 
and it shows the proper it is not necessary since it is just a csk screw and now we'll add go and add this tommy bar and i'll make sure i'll select this hole inside for the screw spindle and choose this one it automatically takes the cosentric constraint and i'll make sure that this end and this end are tangent automatically it takes the tangent and now we'll click on ok and now we are finished with all the assembly you can just check the front view and this is the top view top view and this is the front view and now if you want to get the suction view just to see how it takes and now let's just click on this suction the same way how we have done it in the parts and here we are having the default suctioning plane you can choose any of them or you can just rotate the plane to see or move it uh, it is just for the confirmation you can just or you can just play with it and now we'll see how to use the drafting so i'm going to save this file first i'm going to save it as screwjack assembly and now we'll keep this file open and we'll go to new we'll go to drawing And it is asking for the sheet size you can choose any of the sheet size but remember while giving the print you need to convert it into the appropriate sheet size since the printing option will not if here if here if you have chosen a1 the printer size printing sheet size will not be a1 you have to scale it while scale it to print okay or now i'll be using a3 and then click on ok and here the documents are open that is the assembly file is open so double click on this assembly and now you can just place the view here i am going to just place the top view and i am having i will show the hidden lines also and here the scale is there use the sheet scale it will be taken the sheet scale and or here we are having the custom scale you can add the custom scale also and the cosmetic thread quality let it be of trap and i'll just place it over here and if you want to get the projected view we can just click, click, click add the projected view now we don't need any projected view so we'll just click on ok and now i'm going to need the suction view i'm going to suction this so go to suction view and here there is suction and half suction i'm going to use the half suction view and there are different things you can just choose the appropriate one i'm going to choose this right side up and here it will show for auto hatching and exclude fasteners flip the direction i'll just leave it as it is i'll just enable auto hatching and then click on ok Now it shows exactly the half section view of the screw jack. And now you will see how to add the balloons. Go to annotation and add auto balloon over here. And then I will choose this view. And here there are different options. You can choose either top or either to the left or to the right. I am just going to keep everything to the right and then click on OK. If it goes out the sheet, you can just move it a little bit. And now I'm going to add the pill of materials. Go to tables in the annotation tab and click on BOM pill of material. For this view, I'm going to select and we'll click on OK. And now here we'll add and 
now right now we don't need this description box so I'm going to click over here until it shows this arrow mark over here right click and here we'll delete this I'm going to delete the column not the table if you click on delete the table the whole table will be deleted I'm going to delete the common column and I'm going to create another column called materials so right click over here and then insert column to the right or left you can choose anything I'm going to add column to the right and in the property you can just choose the material and then and now if you want to add any other views so I'm going to drawing and I'm going to add if you want you can add the projected view or auxiliary view also I'm going to add the model view just the separate one and this one only and I'm going to enable it as isometric you can just choose the views over here uh, and I'm going to create a shaded part and I'm going to use a custom scaling of 1 is to 2 draft quality and 1 is to 2 is not enough so I'll just go for 1 is to 5 and then we click on OK and now we can save this file and thank you for watching my video please like and subscribe my channel for more videos like this and comment below for any suggestions